بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم يا أخواتي العزيزات now we are about to enter شهر رمضان المبارك the blessed month of رمضان وهو شهر البركة شهر الرحمة شهر الاستغفار وشهر القرآن it's the month of uh, mercy and the month of blessing and the month of making a stick far, asking Allah for forgiveness. And it's the month of Quran. So before starting to read the Quran in this month, some of you are beginners. Some of you are uh, what I call high beginners. You're not exactly a beginner. You've been doing it for a while, but maybe you still are uh, struggling through. So. The first thing I want to mention about before before you uh, go into the Quran is how to navigate through the full Arabic Mus'haf. Mus'haf. That's what we call the Arabic Quran. We call it a Mus'haf. So, first of all, there's different variations. Now, if you're a beginner, you do not want to try to handle something like this. Don't get this size. This is not for beginners, all right? Matter of fact, that's not even for people who don't have great eyesight. Um, something like this is okay, medium size. Uh, for me, I prefer this, the big one, inshallah. But as you like. Now, um, you can also find some things like this, which I love in Ramadan. This is all 30 parts, all 30 parts separately um, contained so you can just literally like, each day take one and read it and then put it back in the in the package and then take the ne next one the next day and so forth so it really depends on what you have available to you as long as the uh, what you're reading is legible is is big enough for you all right so now I know when you first start reading um, the Arabic Mus'haf, it can be very intimidating because you have all of this Arabic, mashallah, tabarakallah, all of this Arabic and no English at all. So I want to show you some things in here that will help you. First of all, as you can see in my Mus'haf, now this is the one that I used to use before I started wearing glasses, but um, this one you see i have my little tabs with my little post-it notes and i use those um particularly like if there's a, cer a certain surah that i want to remember or a certain ayah i want to remember or so forth um or something uh particularly like if i'm reading through the quran i find an ayah that i i want to go back to so those are very very useful the other thing is using these clips or, um, you know, to hold your place and so forth um, when you're reading and you, you stop and you want to go back. So you want something to, to clip and hold your place. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you three things in the Quran that will help you navigate through the full Arabic Mus'haf. All right, I'm going to show you those three things separately. The first one is al-fihris. And the fihris is the index. It's an index that's located in the back of the mushaf. Here it is. And um, it may look different in the one you have. This is the one I have. So, and this is going to give you a listing of all of, all of the siwar. Siwar is the plural of surah. All of the siwar, كل سورة, every surah of the Quran, and their number, and where they came down, if it came down in Mecca, if it came down in Medina, and so forth. It's going to help you to find the surah in the Quran that you're looking for. That's the first thing. Second thing you have to know is that um, the Quran is, of course, you know, it's 114 surah. 114 surah from Al-Fatiha to Surah Al-Nas. However, those um, siwar are broken down into 30 parts. The Quran is in 30 parts. So when we speak of like juz amma or juz tabarak or juz qad right? The juz is one thirtieth of the Quran. That's the second thing. The third thing is the hizb. Let me see. The hizb 
is half of a juz. So a juz, like for example, uh, or from the back or from the front, Surat uh, al So Surat al is like the first juz, the second juz, and into the third juz. So let's say that one juz is going to be broken into half, and each half is called a hizb. I'm going to show you these things up close in a minute, bi uh, The fihris, the ajza, and the ahzab, bi And these things will help you navigate through the Qur'an. So let's go into my mushaf a bit closer. Now we are inside the full Arabic Mus'haf and we're on the page of Fihris. Fihris. And you see here Fihris Asma Siwar. Siwar is the plural of Surah. Surah Siwar. Alright, so when you look at the Fihris, this particular one, because uh, I use a larger Mus'haf, so you know there's three columns but each of the columns have the same type of information so if you look at the first column I'm gonna close up a bit here Al Fatiha Al Fatiha Surah so here in the gray is the Surah the name of the Surah so you have Al Fatiha Al Baqara Al Imran Al Nisa Al Maida and so on the next column Raqa Muha Raqamuha is the number of the surah. So of course Al Fatiha is number one, uh, Wahid, and then you know, and then Baqarah is the uh, second and the third and the fourth and so on. And then As Safha. As is the page number. So the page numbers are here also for each surah. So it's actually going across like that. Uh, and then the last column is about where the surah came down. So did it come down in Mecca or uh, Al Medina, so it'll say if it came down in Mecca, it'll say Mekkiya, Mekkiya. Uh, it, it came, it's a Meccan surah, or it came down in Medina, it's Medaniya, Medaniya. All right, so you can see that all the way going down, and then uh, you go across and it just continues on until Surah the Nas, until the end. Uh, and you have that same information. In the back, this is a noble Quran. Um, in the, in the back of the noble Quran, you have that index fihris. But this fihris is, of course, in English. I mean, our goal is to, you know, get to the Arabic and work with the uh, the the mushaf in Arabic. However, you can use this, you know, just to guide you in the beginning when you're first getting started, especially uh, uh, with the numbers. Taala. So this is called al fihris. Al Fihris, and it's found in the back of the full Mus'haf. If you have a Mus'haf which is just a part of the Quran, then of course that wouldn't have um, a Fihris in the back. So you you really want this so you can just practice even just reading the names uh, of the Siwar and just testing yourself finding it. So uh, we do this in the Quranic Arabic class, we do this in the level 2 Arabic class as well, and uh, you know some people get it really quickly. I'll say like, you know, oh, find Surah Yusuf. Where's Surah Yusuf? Can you see where Surah Yusuf is? And some people might find it right away and say, oh, there it is right there. Surah Yusuf, you know. And some people might, you know, have a more difficult time. So this is something to train yourself on, bi'ithni lay ta'ala. And, and this is a part of navigating through Kitab Allah, bi'ithni lay ta'ala. We want to talk about in navigating through the Quran is the edge z, the edge z, uh, the juz. So we have juz on edge z on juz on edge z on. So when you talk about you know juz amma or juz qatsama or juz tabarak, we're talking about a thirtieth of the Quran. So the whole Quran we know is four, uh, 114 siwar or surahs siwar, and then uh, that's broken up into 30 parts. So now, if you notice at the top of the page, 
You see here this says al juzu athaniyo. Al juzu athaniyo. And then you come over here. Okay, and you see that you see that circle there? Uh, it's also telling you that now you're at the beginning of a new juz. Alright, a, a new juz. And then um, here you can see at the top again al juzu athalithu. Athalithu. So it's the third uh, juz. And then uh, on the side here you see again a circle. Right, it'll just so a fairly through that first number tells you the juice. Now, the second number is something else that's the hib, his, we're going to talk about that in a minute. But if you just go through the mushaf, you'll see I'm just skipping through here now. Um, I'm in Surah Al An Am, Surah Al An Am, and uh, Al An Am. Okay, so this is the name of the Surah there, and then here is the juice, El Juzo. Asabi'u, the seventh. Asabi'u. Alright, um, let's see, we'll skip through again. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And here we're in Surah now, Surah at Tawbah. Surah at Tawbah. And um, we come here, Al Juz'u Al Ashiru. So that's the tenth Juz of the Quran. Uh, we don't see, we only see this, which we're going to talk about in the next video, but we don't see that we're at a new uh, juz every time here. Now we see here, we in this page, Surah Al-Anfal, Surah Al-Anfal, we see we entered the 10th juz. All right, that second number has another meaning. Um, the the tenth juz we entered and so on and so forth. So we know there's thirty, uh, thirty juz in the Quran. The Quran is broken into thirty edges. All right, we're back inside my mushaf again, and uh, see if you can read the name of this surah. Nam Surat al-Kahf, Surat al-Kahf. Now, this portion of Surat al-Kahf, uh, we see it is what number juz? The beginning of juz 16, Sitta Tashar. And then we see a number here, Al-Hizb, 31. Can you see it? Al Hizb. So it's the Juz, it's the 16th Juz, and the 31st Hizb. Now I told you uh, the Hizb is a half of a Juz. A half of a Juz. Okay, so if we look here, we see, okay, here we can see Al Juz U Asadis Ashar, 16th Juz. We see here this star, it's Nijma. So what does it mean? It means that it's the beginning of a Hizb. Or the beginning of uh, one half, you know, the second half of this juz. Okay, so now let's see the parts of the hizb. So the parts of the hizb are separated by these little nijmat, these stars. So you saw one there. Now here you see another star here. And uh, we, we've gone, we're still in Surat al-Kahaf. We see another star here. So, um, this his, this is the fourth, this is the fourth of the his. When I got there, I know I read a fourth of the his, all right? Then I go the next page and I find another Nejma here and I see this says Nisf, Nisf. So that's half of a his. Now the his is going to be in four parts. Is four parts. So I come and here I see another one, another Najm. Now I'm, I've gone into Surah Maryam, gone into the next Surah. Okay, and there's another Najm, and then here I can see where it says um, this is the the the, the third, fourth of um, Hizb 31. 
All right, then if I keep going, if I keep going, um, I reach another soda. What soda is this? Thaha, Thaha, and um, now I reached the next hizb, which is 32. Okay, so from back here, from El Kahaf, El Kahaf, where I was at the beginning of the hizb, 31. I was also at the beginning of the Jews 16, but I was at the beginning of the Hizb 31. And then that Hizb was broken down into four parts by these little stars, these little Nijmat. Okay, and that told me either I was in the first uh, part, the second part, third or fourth part of the Hizb. So the Jews actually is broken down into half, two Hizbs. And then that each hizb is broken down into four parts. So what a lot of people will do is, you know, if you, let's say you're doing a daily Quran reading. So you could just literally like start here and say, okay, I'm going to read the one um, fourth of a hizb. I'm going to start here. And then when I get to, you know, the next, uh, the next little uh, nejma, then I will stop. And that would be here. And then you know where to pick up from the next morning or the next time that you read. You know, I pick up from here and then I go to the next one like that. And some people might read two uh, hisp in a day or one or, or um, I'm sorry, uh, one hisp or they might read two parts of a hisp. Uh, or some people, if you read a whole hisp, that means you read a half of Jews of Quran. If you read a part of a hisp, that means you read like a fourth um, of a, of a, or an eighth of a Jews of the Quran. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm not great with fractions, but the main thing is to understand that each Jews is broken down into two halves, and each of those halves is called a hizb, and then each hizb is broken down into parts. Uh, to make it easier uh, to read and stop and start your reading so I hope these things help you uh, to navigate through the Arabic Mus'haf now you can always take the English Quran and the Arabic Mus'haf together to help you to get through use the online tools that are available to you use Quran.com Q U R A N dot com. That website will show you each surah, each ayah separately with its translation. You can press audio, listen to the ayah, you can hover over each word and get a translation to begin to build your Quranic vocabulary. You can also use YouTube. You can find a Sheikh who reads at a slow or moderate pace, listen and read along. Listen and read along. This is very, very, very helpful. You can also join my Zoom group. 5 a.m. Eastern Time every morning. We'll be sitting, we'll be reading a portion of each day's reading. Uh, you can subscribe to my email list if you'd like to join. And we'll send you the Zoom invitation. If you're not reading Quran yet, if you're not able to read Arabic yet, you need to join my level one class starting July 15th. Go to my webpage, ArabicForWomen.com and subscribe to the level one email list. And um, after Ramadan, we'll get you started with reading, starting from Alif Ba to reading the Quran. Some sisters, they started with us in the winter. Now they're reading the Quran, alhamdulillah. Ten week course, $59.00 the lowest price ever, and uh, alhamdulillah, inshallah, you will see uh, results from that. So, bismillah, we want to get you started, get you, um, raise the level, we, we as a community, raising our level, bismillah. So, with that, I will see you around the internet, around Facebook, around email, around Instagram, I'll see you, bismillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.